All right. We now have an immigration bill. I hope you got the latest. Did you catch it this morning on the news? We have a new immigration bill. We do? Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. It's April Fool's Day. Oh, okay. That would have been surprising. I could have talked about this new tax bill that uh, everybody's so unhappy with. Uh, uh, well, you know, on that, I think it's probably better if we try to not personalize politics anywhere where possible. So I, I do think maybe we ought to take a step down and try to calm this down a little bit. Well, you know, I just I just don't think it's publicly uh, correct to criticize these guys for not being able to have a tax increase or being able to try to impose a tax increase and not using the money for the tax increase. How would you look at that? It's a, it's a tourist tax, tourism tax, and basically they're saying that Hey, the money from the tourism hasn't been used this way before, and they're going to start a president's putting it into schools in the future. Mm-hmm. I'm sure there's a lot of different ways that uh, uh, these schools get built, and, uh, and uh, you know, maybe if we managed our money a little better, we wouldn't need – we wouldn't be so dependent on this tax. Well, Opinions. I, but now – <laughs> Part of the argument is, you know, Mike Bell pulled his support of this bill. <clears throat> Everything I've heard in Nashville was lots of people from across the state, including probably the governor, were not going to allow this to go forward because it's the the money has never been used this way before. And what they're concerned with is once you open the door to using sure. this money outside of what the the tax was originally passed to do then you're going to end up having to raise the tax to do the original so why pull the bill why not let it be defeated well i was going to say that actually um Mike, I mean, from what I understand, your, your local community wants your representative to present a bill well they were they presented it and then got blowback and withdrew it why well, not just let it be voted on and if it's I, a bad idea let it go down here's the deal from what i understand mike bell actually could have done that much easier and not I had any think. of this problem but he did it from what i understand over basically the uh he felt like it was the right thing to do because the bill's wording had been changed and the way these private acts work is they have to be passed by the county commission and then they're passed by the legislature well once the wording was changed the original language hadn't been passed by the commission, um, and and I, you know, I think Mike just thought he was being honest and straightforward, and he could have sat back and been quiet. I will say this though, since we the Republicans are supposed to be the party of less government and less taxes, mm-hmm. and since we've taken over in Nashville, they've eliminated the death tax. They uh, were about two or three thousand, maybe four thousand fewer state employees under Governor Haslam. We've actually cut the size of state government. Um, I would ask this county commission, where have they cut anything? You know, before they start talking about taxes, where have they cut anything now? One of the normal arguments back is, well, where would you cut? Well, guess what? I didn't run for county commission. And the fact of the matter is, Lake Forest has been a terribly bad situation for years. And we have consistently spent money that most people would have thought were on things that were of a lower priority than Lake Forest. So this is really a Bradley County problem. And I think they ought to look, prior, show me where you've prioritized and where you've cut back on something that's not as important as Lake Forest. Well, let me add to that, and I, and I have to say it. And You know, Tom Cry made the comment, I, I intend to propose the appropriate property tax increase to provide the necessary funding for the uh, uh, project, the school project, entitled the resolution, the Senators Bell and Garden our property tax increase for education. You know, it's not their fault that uh, uh, we're having to resort to these kind of methods just to try to raise enough money to keep these schools going. You know, some good budgeting and some good planning 
I also heard in Nashville, outside of Mike Bell and, and Todd Gardenhire, there was a lot of problem with the fact that Bradley County just signed on to sue the state over education funding. Yep, that's and another And specifically issue. named the lieutenant governor in the lawsuit and then turned around and asked the lieutenant governor and the state senate to pass a bill to help them raise taxes. You know, in politics, you got to play all, all sides. It's now, now amazing. In, in the county commission's defense, that wasn't the commission that did that. That was yeah. the Bradley County School Board. But still, it's Bradley County. And, and, and they even the Hamilton made, County school system and the Polk County school system and the McMinn County well, no, school but, but system. But frankly, no one's arguing I'm that they don't saying, have like, a right to do that. Like it was just them. No, I know, but the point is not that they don't have a right to do it. The point is you don't do it and then turn around and ask those very same people, hey, by the way, do us a favor. You know, maybe the school board should have thought about that before they decided to join on to this lawsuit. You know, they knew it was kind of, they had to reword this thing just to be able to try to get it to Nashville to work because it had never been done. So this way. So, well, I, I, as a Republican, didn't turn I, out. I, I Guys, want we're you to sorry, show me where you've, you've cut back on government before we increase taxes on the people. Yeah. Well, you said that from day one on backfire. Day one. One, the first day, the he, first said day he said that. He said that. Okay. He's been saying that every time since. So, you know, uh, if if there's going to be a tax increase, let's see. Uh, let's let's put it through. It ought to be uh, the last thing that we do. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm gonna get in trouble for this, but the the fine arts building at Bradley. It's a beautiful building, very well done. I think it's a wonderful asset for the kids. But it's not as high a priority as the leaking school was at Lake Forest. And I think that's what frustrates a lot of people. Why didn't they people. fix the leaking school at Lake Forest Absolutely. when they built it? Why that's haven't right. we done zero-based budgeting? Same thing at Cleveland High School. You know, they had a gym problem. Why didn't they fix it before they did other things? So. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and so it's hard on the taxpayers to look at this where we spend money on things that weren't as high a priority and then we raise taxes for the things that actually needed to be done in the first place. Well, anyway, I think the, uh, the language is a little bit rough and uh, I hope it doesn't um, um, cause any more problems than it already has. So uh, anyway, we'll move forward and hope it works out so uh lots going on over in nashville this week wasn't wasn't there what i was going on you tell me well, I, well, I haven't been keeping up with news this week well the pro-life <coughs> party killed some more tennesseans this week they didn't kill anybody frankly. Yes, they and that is that is <laughs> counterproductive that is no, should not be done that way franklin <laughs> they shouldn't that's well, insulting and it's not fair and you know it Tell me what happened. I don't even know well, what happened. Well, the governor's plan to do the Medicaid expansion again <coughs> mm -hmm. was blocked in committee. Unfortunately, yesterday. democracy got in Franklin in his liberal progressive master planning yes. way. Yes, <laughs> me and Governor Haslam, we're like this over at the Communist Party meetings. Well, Franklin, my point is democracy functioned. What's your problem with it? What's my problem with it? Is that a lot of people are going to suffer because of it? And well, you who's had going to suffer? The 88.1 percent of the people that are going to be covered that are single, <laughs> able-bodied adults. Yeah. Those people. Apparently, the governor was lying when he said 88.1 percent. Right, you disagree are with single? the governor's numbers? Yes, I do disagree okay, with the well, governor. The I disagree governor with the state of Tennessee, on who your party overwhelmingly elected. You're right. Says and this is in the best interest. Here's of this another state, thing for and you, it's going to help Just Tennessee. like when you bring up things that President Bush did wrong, I can actually see the right and wrong of individuals issues i don't blindly follow my messiah what you blindly follow is ideology yes franklin ideology, ideology is what's important instead in life. of facts I, uh, ideology instead of facts my point so is, the my fact point is simp my point is simply there was an opportunity there to do a great deal of good opportunity for tennessee. to have socialized medicine in tennessee socialized franklin, medicine. what would you call it 88.1 percent are single able-bodied adults socialized medicine, John. they weren't going to pay for it we were that's socialism you've already paid for it and that's the point you can't do the math Franklin, you're You've the one that can't, paid the money. Every single Some of state it was coming back. Every single state that has done this, Franklin, has lost on it. That is every single that is true. I told you months ago that. 
There is no way a state that gets a dollar and twenty five cents back for every dollar it sends lost is money. Is that on the it. magic money that someone didn't have to work for that wasn't taken out of someone no, else's it's pocket? The magic money you've already paid. Frankly, already. guess what? Let and me pay it. it back to I you. don't need some so called expert in Washington deciding what I should and shouldn't pay. So centralized planning yes, is the send biggest a failure dollar in the history to of the Washington. World. And you're getting a dollar twenty-five. I don't back. want to send the dollar Whether to Washington. Whether you do or not, you already did. Then I'm trying to stop that too. Well, you're Franklin. on the wrong side of the equation, then, John. Franklin, seventeen trillion dollars in debt. How do you explain that? Where's that money going to come from, Franklin? Stupid Republican economics. Is no, how it's I was your economic. It. Your guy more than doubled the national debt, <laughs> and you want to double it some more. Frankly, you talk about facts. The fact is, it's imaginary money. We're spending money we don't have. And you just keep finding more and more places Show that me you the money. and your liberals want to spend it. Show you me the like money. Wars in the Middle East? That's well, a, that's well a Franklin, let me tell you something. liberal cause. The war in the Middle East that we did, whether we should or shouldn't have done it, we had actually won. Your guy gave no, every benefit of it away. Did, what we did was not pay for it. Franklin, For the first time in American right, but history. Guess what? What benefits we had out of that? I agree that was a mistake, but what benefits we have out of that, your guy summarily gave away. Now, Haslam, Governor Haslam, urges the lawmakers to look beyond politics on Medicaid. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you try looking at economics? We can't afford it. Sim plain and simple, we can't afford it. You've already paid the Franklin, money. Franklin, we Washington. didn't. We've already borrowed the You've money from China. Paid we it. borrowed the money from China, Franklin. We didn't pay it. If we John, were if we had no deficit, you John. could make that argument. We are borrowing forty cents on every dollar that we're spending. As you bankrupt hospital after hospital. We're already all over bank Tennessee. You know what? I didn't bankrupt the hospitals. The hospitals did by paying multi million dollar bonuses to their uh, executives who aren't managing them well. Rural hospitals aren't paying multi-million dollar bonuses to their executives. Franklin, none of that stuff is correct. I have, brought all, I have brought all the facts in over that over the over the decades. So the governor's just lying when he says the this. The governor's manipulating to get what he wants. Yes, Why he does is. he want this, John, if it's such a horrible because thing? Because he wants state. to run for a national office and this will help his resume. Oh, well, I guess you won't be voting for him then. Is hey, he's he's him? a little too liberal for me. He's better than, <laughs> than, than most of the Democrats were, but he's a little Much too like liberal Genghis for me. Khan. Now, look, I told you at the time, <laughs> Bredesen was relatively conservative for a Democrat. I still think he was too liberal, but he was relatively conservative. Haslam is relatively conservative, too, but he's too liberal for me. And I'm against this because we cannot would, afford it. To, you would have to say that about both of your elected Franklin, senators. Franklin, 88.1% of the people that were going to qualify were single, able-bodied adults. Why should I have to How subsidize? How people were working? Lots of them. Single, able-bodied adults, Franklin. Working. Franklin, working. The money's coming out of some other working person's pocket. Why do you think that's fair? Because, John, your inability to understand that you're paying for emergency care already baffles me. I understand plenty, you're already Franklin. already doing For that. example, I understand like that Obamacare was going to get the people off of being uninsured. Guess what? It hasn't. Hadn't done it at all. It's There's still about 40 million people uninsured. So what I understand is you progressives make these statements and make these, these plans, supposedly, and they never work. And you don't ever feel obligated to explain why your original assumptions failed. The original assumption didn't fail. Every, uh, the original we plan was that it's a phased Obama in process. Obamacare was a complete disaster. Your guys are still out. Paul Krugman, it's a success. Really? Health, Did I keep call, my doctor if I wanted the lowest it? Lowest level in 20 years. Did I keep my doctor, Franklin? Did my uh, I did. Cost did you lose your doctor, John? Franklin, yes, the majority of people I lost did, their doctor. I did. I he, did. Told, he said everybody, if they wanted to, could, and they can't. He said that your premiums would go down $2,500. Did you have the ability to Did keep your, your premiums go down $2,500, Franklin? Actually, the first and year they did. I'm, I'm glad you said that again because you also changed your plans and upped your deductibles. That's why your premium was, went down. You opted to have more risk on your deductible side of the coin in order to get a lower premium. I don't know if you don't understand that, but you changed your plan, Franklin. 
if yes. you had stayed with your exact same plan, yes. your premiums would have and gone I up. I still saved money. Your premium would have gone up if you'd stayed with your plan. The point is, the the president said you can keep your plan and your cost will go down twenty five hundred dollars per family. Is that I got options, Franklin, which he, I never had. Before, he either was which is incompetent exactly what or your he party liked. thought we needed. You had options you didn't want. You had options crammed down your throat by the federal government. I had 69 different plans to choose. And all of them had the same thing in it because actually they they did. Franklin, at the time you weren't married, were you? I'm not now. Well, do you need maternity care? Or as a man, unmarried man, do you need maternity care? As Every a, single option, 69 different options offered you, not offered you, but forced you to pay for maternity I care. I also don't need cancer care today, but who knows what we'll need tomorrow. I'm, I'm sorry, are you going to grow an ovary tomorrow? No, but you know what, John? I might have to pay for somebody else's care in the hospital Frankly, who didn't have insurance. You just changed the subject. No, I'm you not. You just changed the You're subject. You're incapable all six, of seeing I'm the big picture. completely capable. All 69 it's plans. What's with your party? All you 69 plans, picture. Franklin. You can't see past all tomorrow. All 69 plans you can't offered see you past maternity tomorrow. coverage because some planner in D.C. decided to socialize the system and say, we're going to claim to give a benefit that people don't want, don't need, so we can charge them more, so we can redistribute that money somewhere else. That's socialized medicine, and that's all this was about, and it centralized power in Washington. What's going on in Indiana? (laughs) Well, right now, they're scrambling to save their economy. That's what's going on. Because liberals, when they don't get their way, punish people. Tell me, what, what did happen in Indiana? I hadn't been watching the news this week. The, the governor, the, the governor, all of a sudden got scared about something. The Indiana General Assembly passed what they style as a religious freedom. What was bill. it based on, Franklin? A federal law passed about twenty years ago, in nineteen ninety-three, and yeah. signed into office by what president? Bill Clinton. And what was the margin of John? Uh, what first of all, you're mar- not going to interrogate what was the mar- me. What was the margin? <laughs> I'm going to talk, and then you talk. It was unanimous, okay? Democrat and Republican support. It wasn't unanimous. It was, it was too, close Franklin. To it. it was close to it. All right, go ahead, Franklin. Right. Passed a bill. <coughs> all right, um, that purportedly prevents government from um, dictating. That somebody do something that 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 violates what they consider to be the. When you say principle. purportedly, does it do that or not? The re- Let me finish, John. Okay. Well, Perhaps well, you could understand I, some of the things if you actually listen. I for understand a change. the word purportedly, and I yeah. simply ask you. The about reason it. I say purportedly because they voted down a bill, a, an amendment to that bill at the same time that would have said, for example, refusing services to somebody because of their sexual orientation wouldn't be permitted. That was part of the discussion that was going on but now, that bill got voted down now, this th- now, and correct me this thing has been passed in six seven eight states 19 19 states and versions it's also on it. the books as a federal law Ver- signed by bill clinton yeah. okay versions of it. so now what's the problem i mean is it just the ter- interpretation of it it's uh, i think that that's a big part of it yes so it's being and, confused and once and once and once and, so, well, but, but, but there's no question there's not any debate that the thing that motivated them was gay rights issues. That's what motivated no, it, the well, bill. I, I disagree. Well, you can do whatever you want. Frankly, there try, is a there is a it. bakery that was put out of business because she said. Now she served gays. The pa- the people that came into her shop had been customers for years. She had no problem serving gays. But when they asked that her to bake the cake for their wedding, she said, "My religious beliefs doesn't condone gay marriage. I would rather not bake your cake." They put the woman out of business Who put her over out of that. Business? The state, the state came in just like you're talking about, protected the supposed gay gay rights mm-hmm. and put that woman out of business okay they find her and they they punished her until she had to close her doors now franklin when the black printing company refuses to print the kkk literature are you going to say that they're discriminating against the kkk well the issue there yep. is whether or not there is a protected class involved that's the issue that's the question Franklin, all the, this bill actually protects everyone. Let's say that you're a John, gay baker John, and someone comes John, in and says, John, I want you to do John, the cake. The question, the, the, question, the question that he asked me was, what's going on there? 
I just said that's what's going that, but on. But no, you mischaracterize no, what's going on. All right, John. Wait a minute. I'm just telling you that that is what motivated. Now the that bill. I've had your version, because you're in their wait brain minute, and you minute, know what motivated. Wait, no, because I read the actual <laughs> legislative debate going that on, and that's what they were talking about. Motivation is a <laughs> subjective word, Franklin, and you know that. Whatever that means. Uh, it means you can't know what motivated someone inside their their soul. I can if they tell me, John. If the people who brought the, people brought the bill that, say that's what they're doing, they never I said that we're that doing this to be able to discriminate against gays. What they said is we're doing this to be able to protect Christians from being forced to what, do things they're what, fundamentally opposed you, to. And what you have seen is a tremendous backlash, not just from liberal groups, from many corporations. Who online. are liberal, board of directors, liberal CEOs. I, I don't know if I would have classified NASCAR as a liberal organization. Look, NASCAR <laughs> plays the game like everyone else, Franklin. You people have created somewhat of a police state of, of political correctness. And everybody's afraid of what you and your liberal minions will do to them. <laughs> liberal minions. I have minions? <laughs> <laughs> oh my! I feel so powerful all of a sudden. <laughs> well, anyway, this governor in Indiana, I want to get down to this. Yeah. This governor in Indiana sure did get a bad case of red face and uh, didn't know what to do. And uh, now he's trying to rewrite some laws just to because he's getting so much political pressure from one side. I think. Am I right? Yeah, they've threatened to boycott the state. You've got a mayor in Spokane that's going to boycott. You've got lots, lots of people in different places who say they're they're going to economically punish Indiana. Franklin, let me ask you a question. The way this law is written, Mm -hmm. if there's a gay baker Mm -hmm. and somebody comes in and says, "I want you to bake a cake that is uh, that has on it that uh, we're against gay marriage," Mm -hmm. and that gay baker refuses because of their beliefs to to bake that cake, does this law protect them as well? Uh, what, what, you hadn't thought about that? Uh, I'm trying to understand your question. The That's law question applies again. universally. It protects everyone from being forced to do something against their conscience. Now, you and all your liberal minions have decided to single out the gay <laughs> issue and say, oh, this is all about gays. Well, but, for example, if a Jewish bakery is asked to bake a cake for the uh, Hamas, they mm-hmm. can refuse that under this mm-hmm. law, and they would be protected. Mm-hmm. If a gay baker refuses to bake an anti-gay marriage cake, they would be protected under this law. This law is meant to protect your conscience from being forced to do something you're morally or ethically opposed mm-hmm. to. And then they take well, it, it becomes and, legal. And, 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 they take it and flip it and try to make something else out of it. They're they're saying this is all about gay. And yes, it is about protecting a Christian from being forced to do something they're against. But it also protects anybody. It protects the Jewish bakery. Are you gonna Are you going to support Franklin if I go into the uh, Islamic uh, uh, deli and say I want you to fix me a pork sandwich? And if they refuse, I can say they discriminated against me because this law would protect them as well. It protects anybody from being forced to do something they're morally and ethically opposed to. Now, what part of that are you against, Franklin? Well, if there's an Islamic <coughs> deli that has pork on the menu, then yeah, You're missing would, the they point, would have Franklin. to do it. I, I, no, I can say, <laughs> why don't you have pork? You don't have pork because you're discriminating against my Jewish beliefs <laughs> or my Christian beliefs. And I can say you're discriminating against. That's the point, Franklin. The gay Gestapo is going to break it. There's a. I I told Franklin. Let's back back up. There's a councilman running for the uh, assembly in in California that has a bill before the state assembly to have gay police forces armed with guns so they can enforce the gay agenda. He's actually put that forward. And before you say he's a crackpot, he's a former aide to the governor of California. That doesn't mean he's not a crackpot. Franklin, he's obviously, let's just say he's certainly not living on the fringes. He's in the, the mainstream of the gay maybe, movement maybe in California. Maybe he's not an aide and to the governor And he wants gay police forces. <laughs> well, They're bullies. I wonder Franklin. what, I wonder what our... Um, our police uh, uh, person that we've hired to oversee our police department, uh, Mr. Wallace, would think about that. <laughs> well, uh, well <laughs> they're reviewing internal policies. <laughs> well, actually, if you want to talk about that, I've, I've got an issue we can talk about. All right, let's talk okay. about it. Okay. Um, I have a friend that um, 
he had someone break into his car and he had uh, a lot of stuff in the car he had a, a garage clicker he had some keys to some rental property and they were labeled and he called and said look this is bad news and uh, the police said, well, we'll pick him up in the morning. Now, the guy that did this apparently was already out on bond for vehicular manslaughter, attempted vehicular manslaughter. He was on parole for other things. He's a career criminal. Nobody would pick him up. They finally told this guy, well, if you find him, call us and we'll come get him. Yeah, he gave him the name because he used uh, his credit card. And the credit card sent a picture and set, told what motel he had used the card to get a room at. And the city wouldn't go pick him up. What in and, the world? And then the next day, he broke into the guy's garage because he the guy didn't realize he also had his garage door opener. Yeah. And they still, the next <clears throat> day, wouldn't pick him up. And then began blame, said, oh, it's the county's fault. They should have done this. That That's what the kind of stuff we've got. They actually told him, if you find the guy. Now, they told him, hey, this guy's really dangerous. He's a dangerous criminal. But if you find him, call us and we'll come get him. So this is the city versus the county? No, the you know, the, the county wasn't really involved. This The break-in happened in the city. <clears> but <throat> from what I understand, the county has now gotten involved and has is act, actively trying to pick this guy up. Oh, well. Let's take a break while things get quiet we'll be right back you're listening to backfire with steve hickson we'll be right back after this you are listening to w-o-o-p-l-p cleveland tennessee whoop fm is a broadcasting service of the traditional music resource center and we play america's original music check in two Checking the cash. The cash you need is closer than you think. Get an auto title loan today for up to $2,500 at Check Into Cash. You drive home with the cash in your pocket. Visit Check Into Cash for an auto title loan today or get a payday advance for up to $425. Call toll free 877 262 CASH. Title loan amount determined by value of car and ability to repay. Borrowers often use payday advances over a period of months, which can be expensive. Restrictions apply. See store for details. Did you know that U.S. Money Shops cashes all checks, even the ones most check cashers reject? Tax refund checks, government checks, payroll checks, and many more. And when you cash a check with U.S. Money Shops, we'll give you 10% off your next purchase. At U.S. Money Shops, we have everything you need at a fraction of regular retail. So stop by one of our 11 locations or visit us online at usmoneyshops.com. Buy yourself or buy today the better way at U.S. Money Shops. Some restrictions may apply. See store for details. If you need a little green, lending frog is making deals. He'll lend you cash on any kind of wheels. Borrow just a little, or you can borrow big. Lending frog is a new financial gig. It's hip to hop, it's hip to hop into cash. Lendingfrog.com is making a splash. Dig it, dig it. Hello, my name is Andy Figglestaller with Ed Jacobs & Associates. We are an employee benefit and insurance broker in business for the past 20 years. The new health care law, also known as Obamacare, has finally arrived. The law is complex and the choices are confusing. You have questions, we have the answers. It is our passion to find cost-effective solutions for every client. The solutions will be different for every person or business. Let our knowledge, experience, and passion go to work for you. Contact us today and let us assist you through this process. Our phone number is 423-473-0202, or you can find us on the web at edjacobs.com. Wheeler Technologies has moved. Visit them at their new location at 490 Grove Avenue Southwest next to Bradley Rentals. Same great folks, same great service with a better location to serve you. Call Wheeler Technologies for voice, data, and security needs at 664-TECH. That's 664-8324. And remember, depend on Wheeler Technologies for the current time and temperature every day at 476-1111. Tennessee Alarm Contractor C-175. If you're looking for a home, apartment, or office space, Jones Properties provides residential and commercial properties in the heart of the Southeast that will fulfill any need. Plus, Jones Properties is one of the fastest growing firms in the area, which offers you more security. When you're ready for a home, apartment, or in need for commercial office space, it makes sense to call Jones Properties first at 472-4000. Plus, you can get additional information by logging on to the website at triple 
www.jonesproperties.biz. Jones Properties is also looking to invest in properties. So if you have a property that you need to sell, call the professional team at Jones Properties first. They'll help you find the perfect property for whatever your needs. Call today, 472-4000. And don't forget to keep up with Jones Properties on Facebook. You're listening to Backfire with Steve Hickson on Woof FM. Call 423-614-5553 to join in on the conversation. Now, back to Backfire. You should be kissed and often and by someone who knows how. All right, we're back live with another edition of Backfire with Franklin Chancy and John Stanberry. Uh, yeah, we'll open up the phone lines. If you want to give us a call, give us a call. Anyway, uh, I want to talk about uh, the, uh, immigration again right now. What's going on with the immigration laws? The judge halted it. It's been appealed. What? Anybody heard anything about it lately? Well, that's what happens when you do it through executive order. You have no real process. So now it's in the courts, which will cost everybody a fortune, and it creates terrible uncertainty in the uh, community. And you've got some judges that are upholding it, some judges that are, are uh, well, stopping the, the it. Well, the enforcement of it has been stopped by the injunction issued by the court. And so nothing's going to happen in terms of implementation yeah, of well, the that's order. that's not true either, Franklin, because what we've found is that apparently the uh, DHS is is continuing to hire people to implement. They're still spending money on the program, even though the judge has stopped it. The implementation of the order has been halted by the judge's but order. The lay, well, then why and, is, and, but that's the process know, we have. Why is DHS spending taxpayer have. dollars continuing on the implementation plans? Because if the appeal is successful, then there are provisions of the order that they're supposed to be implementing but immediately. But if the appeal is not successful, then they John, wasted you asked my me money. The question. I That's know, the but answer. my point is, a, a re- reasonable and person, know, and you know what, none, a reasonable none president, this, none of this stops the Congress from passing a bill. You none mean like it. they could have passed it when the president had both houses of Congress from 2008 to 2010? John, nothing. I'm saying pass a bill that meets but the, the, point the, is, Franklin, the standards that you the want. President, pass some bill. Well, actually, we're working on bills, but Good. the pre, the president Good. did this because this he's a do dictator. This is he do functions it. as a dictator. No, I, I think and the reason he's continuing with DHS spending money on it is because he doesn't give a damn what the courts say. At, at some point, John... Somebody has to do something. No, no Franklin, we don't live no, in that kind no, of country. It's not true. No, no, it's not true. Is, I, I disagree Franklin, with you. I then, disagree. Then with you would survive well under a dictator, or you would accept no, a dictator. But, uh, John, at some point, uh, first of all, these are co-equal branches of government. You'd agree. That's what but the Constitution they don't says. But this way, Franklin. That doesn't John, mean that he has John, the right to do this. John, that's the heart of the constitutional question. What he does or does not do. They are but I will tell you Franklin, this: there is no question things. that the Congress has the absolute ability to control That's this. That's not the important if question. If they the will pass a bill, doesn't have the authority no. to do what he did. That's the issue. He That's doesn't. what the courts Franklin, are going to decide. Even liberals have said he yeah. doesn't. And some uh, liberals have said he does. Well, get ready for the cons- uh, right-wing conservative president to follow John, the examples that you have now said you accept. Pass some My bill. point, Franklin, is when we do that to you, are you going to then hold up and go, well, the president has the right to do that? I'm just going to say what I've said before, no, you're John. Not. You're flip Hating like Obama and opposing Obama is not a policy. He didn't have go the right pass to do a this. Bill. Your party Guess has what, the Franklin? ability Did he, to maybe we don't want to. Maybe we don't want to do that. Did Obama ever say he didn't have the right to do it? Yes, 27 what he, times. What he said was he didn't have the right to do some things. Franklin, he actually, <laughs> on record, said he didn't have the right to do what he but actually did. I'll bring the quote things? back into you. I've read it to you before. He actually John, said there's no ex- question that you've got that quote, but what he's talking about is apples and oranges. No, frankly, it actually he actually enumerated the <sighs> very things that he did in this executive order and followed it with, I don't have the ability to do that. All right, let's listen. You know, I taught constitutional law for 10 years. I take the Constitution very seriously. The biggest problems that we're facing right now have to do with George Bush trying to bring more and more power into the executive branch and not go through Congress at all. And that's what I intend to reverse when I'm President of the United States. He's going to reverse it. Sure. Has he reversed it? 
No, he hasn't been able to get exact, the Congress to do anything. <laughs> did he do exactly he, the again, same Again, he thing? didn't do what he said he was going to do. Look, look, <laughs> look here's, here's the facts, okay? Now, you can talk about the, the gotcha politics all you it's want. It's not gotcha. It it's is got, words. It is gotcha politics. You mean holding oh, someone John, to his own statements is be gotcha politics? Uh -huh. the, the point is, there were majorities in both, con both houses of Congress that would have passed a bill. You mean we in 2008 to, to 2010? Yes, absolutely. And whose majority was it? Who's, we couldn't get who it. Who was up the majority for a vote. party? Who was it? Couldn't get it. Who vote. was it, Franklin? Say it. For two years, it was a it was and the so, Democrats. And so the president, who says he has to do this because the Republicans refuse to act, for two years, he could have done it with a snap of his fingers, and he didn't. So he's sure. he is he is disingenuous no, there, there is, at best. It's not disingenuous, Frankly, but it's a fair criticism. Why didn't he do it? I'm trying to answer your question, John. No, you're not. You love talking, you're, you're avoiding John. Listen your for a moment. No, I'm not. You're absolutely right. In that two year period, he could have done that, assuming he could have gotten sixty votes to to bring it up for a floor vote Franklin, in the Senate. Franklin, they changed the rules anytime they needed well, more, less than 60 then, votes. Was it? Well, frankly, but the, the he point crammed is, Obamacare through like that. That's it, John, you're exactly right. And well, the, why couldn't the you answer, cram this and that's through? The answer if this was important, Franklin. I'm trying to answer your question, no, you're John. Not. You're trying to explain away I'm the fact that... I'm not explaining anything. Yes, you are. I'm not explaining anything. What that's I'm telling you is that you're right, that in theory he should have been able to do that. Well, my point However, is, was that... what you said was correct a moment ago, that... He put his emphasis on Obamacare instead of that that time. But That's frankly, true. here's the point. If this was so important that he is willing to really threaten the constitutional system with his illegal uh, executive John, order action, if John, it was so important, the now, why was it important that? six years ago when he could have done it without threatening the constitutional order? Because he was hoping that adults would show up in the Congress and do something. Adults did show up no, and decided didn't. that it wasn't the right thing no, to do, did. Franklin. No, That's no, called did. democracy. No, it's did. called the way our they're, government they're, there are majorities right now, majorities, who would pass a bill today, but we can't get it up for a vote. Well, you know what, Franklin? And guess what? Government. Those majorities would have included some Republicans. Frankly, there have been majorities for a lot of conservative issues that the liberals have held up. We don't John, get to wave a pen like Obama thinks he should be able to. It, to try he actually and do said it something. was. That's his own words. Wave a pen. He said, I have a pen, I have a phone, John, I can do what I want. Just do Something. We don't want to, maybe. Sometimes not doing something is what we want. We disagree with him on this. Well, that's He's not, not, what not they the say. king. He's minute. not the dictator. If we're going to talk about not doing something, let's talk about Israel. What's going on? Time's up. What do you mean? I mean, Iran, Iran. What do you mean, time's up? Well, they're negotiating that. that uh, well, they changed the deal on Sunday night. You know where where the president said we're going to move all. We don't of have them. a deal yet. I know. They changed up. one of the one of the main functions of the deal was that we're going to move the uranium out of Iran, Iraq, Iran, so that and if consequently we, we if, don't have a deal. Franklin, they said we're not going to move it out. They've agreed to that the entire time, and now on Sunday night they said, by the way, we're not going to do that. So we don't have a deal. Franklin, that's that's we've said we're not going to have a deal all along. This president, this is John. a pipe dream to try John. to salvage something that John. he could brag about John. and it's going to end up being a bigger Marcia. disaster than anything here's what i know iran is farther from having a bomb no, today they're not. nobody they... thinks that frankly yes they do crazy hey franklin i really think they're working on They've this bomb right now more uranium as we went along the deal was they were going <laughs> to move it out they're not going to move it out John. the original deal was John. they're going to stop the centrifuges now John. they're going to ke keep six thousand centrifuges john this john. is a disaster and, and apparently you can't see john. it john. as a part of this negotiation there Ar is no negotiation there's only the manipulation of obama and his naivete Oh, right. and the British and the French they and the Germans actually and the out. Russians. The Germans and the French. Said they're there they're today. Of, well, they told yesterday. They said, "Guess what? We're leaving." Why won't we leave? Because how do you think about this from Iran's John, side? They're if there you know today. The other people, how, do you, how do you keep drawing a line in the sand? If you know that the other side that you're negotiating with is so desperate for a John, deal that they'll do anything, you don't have to give anything up, and that's what John, the Iranians are doing. Yeah. John. By every single measure, as we sit here today, there are some restrictions in place on Iran that were not present before the negotiations started. What, Franklin? 
Every one of them. The, the, the director of the internet and the atomic energy thing it said they're not abiding by the rules That's just not last what week. He said. That is not you what know he what, said, Franklin? Don't. The Senate yesterday voted 100 to nothing in opposition to what the White House wanted. They passed an amendment that said they will reimpose sanctions. The White House vehemently opposed this 100 to nothing. So the one spot that the president has been successful in bipartisanship is over how big of a disaster his foreign policy has become. 100 to nothing, Franklin. Argue with that. John, what was the actual vote yesterday? 100 to nothing. No, not was the vote count. What was the actual item they were voting on? The Senate, with a stunning vote of 100 to nothing, passed on an amendment that would impose sanctions on Iran if they were ever found to not be following whatever terms are okay. finally hammered out between Iran what, and the exactly. P5. Exactly. Whatever terms. The White get. House opposed the bill because they said they don't have the right to impose sanctions. Guess what? Next week, a bipartisan bill from our own Senator what Corbin the White House, and Senator Menendez. What the White House did was take the position that the Senate shouldn't be doing this thing. And while they voted they 100 hundred to nothing to on. do it anyway. A hundred to nothing. Because Complete. under the Constitution, it's the executive branch Franklin, that conducts negotiations with foreign governments. My point is the governments. Democrats in Not the Senate, the Senate. obviously don't have any faith in this White House either. It's a hundred to nothing. Try to John, spin that one. John. Let spin a hundred to Franklin. nothing, Franklin. John, let me, no, let me, we let don't me, even have let a deal me, yet, and you're me, criticizing The can Democrats I, are criticizing no, it. A hundred to nothing. No, they're not. They all voted against the White House. All right, let, let me let me intervene here just a moment. Why wouldn't Obama just try to work with everybody to make the Americans happy? Then we'll worry about Iran. What? In other words, if they voted a hundred to nothing, get in They're bed with it. They're not happy with the White House. Here's Figure the, it out. If it's a hundred to nothing, he's know, doing something wrong. This is not that complicated. Well, folks. it seems to be to Obama. Before these negotiations started, there was nothing slowing down Iran from developing a bomb. And nothing has slowed them down during the negotiations. What no. they've done is they've bought themselves six years from a naive president to continue enriching uranium. And actually, now they have a ballistic actually, missile system. Actually, what they did was ship some uranium to Russia reduce the number of centrifuges they were operating they were supposed according to, get rid of to the international them. they Atomic were supposed to get rid of all of them franklin do you think we no, could they were not yes under, originally as part obama of the said that all centrifuge activity would stop and then he said the no origin, never mind the interim arrangement they worked out while the negotiations were going on with the agreement of all these other countries i might add mm -hmm. okay by all accounts has them further away from developing a bomb that, no, than they were when Leon we started Panetta, the process. The Obama's own guy says that this is a disaster. His own people are now coming out and saying this is a complete disaster. By the way, Franklin, nobody Neville, has explained. Neville Chamberlain not, negotiated Neville the Chamberlain same kind of thing with Germany right before they invaded Poland. Well, if 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 the deadline was up, why do we keep? We've extended it three times well, now. I mean, let me finish. Well, we've done that a million times well, when we were doing arms control agreements with the Russians. When, we when, kept negotiating. Well, if talking the, doesn't if, hurt. If the other countries, it hurts out, if they're building a bomb while you talk. The other countries are still participating in this. I thought we had two that pulled out. They threatened to leave. I have it. Threatened to, to leave is not the same thing as leaving. Is oh. it? Well, that was this morning, Franklin. And unless you've gotten the news straight out of France, we don't know whether the they news left this or not. morning was they kept working all through the night, and they're still there negotiating. But tonight. listen, I do feel a little bit better. Kerry walked out of one of the meetings, and one of the reporters <laughs> asked him, "How's it going? You know, are you going to get a deal?" And his reply was, "Inshallah," which is Islam for Allah willing. I'm so happy that our own Secretary of State is now using the terminology of Islam. <laughs> the, the negotiations <laughs> are nothing to be afraid of. Frankly, Talking is not scary. Were the negotiations with, with Hitler nothing to be afraid of? They John, failed John. miserably, and the world was plunged into World War II because of the same kind of pipe dream diplomacy that you're advocating. It's not. A the guys burned our flag just last week, and the supreme leader led the room in chanting "Death to America." These are the people you're saying we can enter into an agreement with, Franklin. Are you the insane? Po the point of this, John, that 
your side for some reason is incapable of grasping is that if there are no negotiations, there's nothing stopping them. There's from nothing developing stopping the them now. This guy's an idiot. Obama well, has no clue what he's doing on the world stage. The, purpose the world of, is the burning at these, his feet. The purpose of these negotiations is to slow down their ability. You're not to do slowing this. them. For, they've had six years to continue while they. Then why don't they have a bomb today, John? We don't it's know. It's 1940s frankly, technology. They are less they than know a, how to do they it. They are less than a couple of months away. And guess what? Now, over the course of your six years, they have an MX missile system. They have an intercontinental ballistic missile system that they demonstrated by showing how they could use it to blow up a U.S. warship in the Gulf. That's the people that you say we're better off with. Who said we're better off with them? Nobody said that. Nobody said... See, John, you say these things, and it has no connection to reality. Nobody said we love the the Iranians. Nobody said that The idea that Iran is not closer to a nuclear bomb is the only thing with no connection to reality. There's no expert... That's just what all the experts There's no expert in the world that thinks over the last six years they haven't made progress. They've made tremendous progress. We haven't been in these negotiations for six years. This president has been negotiating for six years with them. He's removed sanctions that were actually hurting them. He's extended the deadline over and over again. He's accepted when they've pulled last-minute deals like they did again Sunday night. Economy is in free fall right now. It's not complete free fall because he illegally lifted the sanctions that he didn't have the authority to do. Congress passed the sanctions, Franklin. Actually, the president. Actually, John, this is a perfect example of where you don't know where you're talking about. There are some sanctions that were put in place by Congress, and there are some that were put in place just by executive order. Oh wait. Were you opposed Franklin, to those? When you're, yes, listen to me real close. When you're negotiating with someone and they're a bad guy, which everyone in the world, except I guess your people, think that Iran is a bad guy, you don't give them what they want before John, an agreement. You wait until after the John, agreement. John, the president put some of those sanctions in place by himself. Why did he remove them? He's in the middle of negotiations, and they're he not didn't negotiating remove all of them. He faith. removed a small portion Why? of them. Why? Why would you remove as any? As an incentive. Uh, what incentive? Me? They're screwing us because every he chance get, they, they gave get. something in return. Franklin, they chanted death to America just last week. The hmm. Supreme Leader. What did they give us? What did they give us what in they return? Did they stayed at the table. B- scale back what they were doing. And allowed How do you know they haven't allowed the union al- inspectors yes, in? Yes, they did. No, they haven't. There are, there's only one site they've John. been allowed in. There are nine sites they've asked that they John. haven't been allowed John. in. Where, where are their centrifuges now, Franklin? Where have they moved them during the course of this negotiation? Well, what do you they, know? What they've done is scale back the numbers. Do you know where them. they've moved their centrifuges during John, the course of John, as I understand it, although I don't claim to be an expert on all of those minutiae. Minutiae. That's right. Okay. That's right. It's my understanding that there's pr- right. there are principally four sites that we're concerned about in Iran. Where's the main one? One of them in particular because it's a hardened site. The, the, you know what? It wasn't diff- there before all of this. So while we've negotiated oh, with it, them. Oh, it's been Franklin, there before the they, last year. John. While they were negotiating, no, they moved their centrifuges into an no, underground that's, that's, hardened bunker to protect them from a strike. Now, if, Franklin, they are purely for energy, which, by the way, they don't need because they could pump all the oil they wanted for their energy needs. And by the way, does their energy needs have anything to do with an intercontinental ballistic missile program? I, I, I don't think so. Why would they do all that? So when you say all of these negotiations have worked, while we've been negotiating, while they've drug it out over the last six years with a naive president, they have furthered their systems, they've furthered their programs, and they are closer and closer to being a nuclear power. And now, Sunday night, one of the key proposals on the president's plan, which was that all of this enriched uranium would be moved out of the country, they have now said, nope, not going to do it. Well, John, are you saying the president agreed to that? Are Franklin, you saying that? They said no. John, are you saying the president this agreed president to that? This president would sell his mother to get an agreement at this, this point. This is the point here. He's over here railing about a deal that hasn't even been reached Franklin, yet. Franklin, they said it Sunday night. The White House has not even commented on Let it. Let me tell you something. I want to quit talking about this. We've been on it too long. <clears throat> if Obama reaches any kind of deal, it'll be a bad deal. He ain't ever made a good deal. Now then, let's talk about uh, Bergdahl. What's going on? What is his name? Uh, Bergdahl. Bergdahl. Bergdahl, yeah. What's going on with him right now? You know, he's... Uh, 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 
he's classified as a deserter. Not only that, but consorting with the enemy. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, you know, we've relieved. And now we've, now we've heard that there's a second side of that story. Uh-oh. What is that? I haven't. I don't know that I've heard that. Well, it, is he's it from been, testimony he, of the Taliban? No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> what is it? I'm sorry. Uh, first of all, he's been charged under the Uniform Code of Military Justice with desertion. Yeah. Okay? And uh, with consorting means, with the Which enemy. means he's entitled to a trial. <clears throat> no, wait a minute. Oh. Look, no, he asked me a question. Know, Let me but answer. At, you, said, you made an incomplete statement. He's also been charged with materially helping the enemy. Okay, okay. okay. He's been charged with all right. that. Okay. Now yeah. then, he's entitled to trial. He's yes, court. He it, it, so he's going to be court-martialed? Yes. He'll go through a court-martial process. Okay. That's right. And, okay. a, and a, a jury of soldiers will make that determination. Mm-hmm. What has come out is part of the initial Pentagon investigation of what transpired there is that um, the unit that he was in. Oh, God. I can't believe you're going there. Go ahead. Go ahead, Frank. Go ahead. (laughs) Had been cited a number of times for violations of rules of the military Mm -hmm. and i I, I, i'm saying that carefully because i'm not as familiar with the terminology that they use uh and that there were problems in the chain of command there Mm -hmm. and at least on the outset of that the the defense that he offered when he was first picked up okay and i mean over there in the in the middle east not not here Mm -hmm. uh was that he was leaving his post and trying to go to another unit mm. to report problems in the chain of Franklin, command. Franklin, that's not he, true. That is a that's what? not true. That's not what he said. That, finish, now he may have, wait a minute. Finish. No, Let you're not finish. being I'm honest not, about this. No, this because is not what his no, his first statement was that he went to the Taliban to report it. Now, when that proved absolutely, now, what, it is Franklin. I'll bring the quote in to you. That was the first defense. I'm not saying it's true or false. My point is, what you said, said another said unit, and that's not what they said. They, he, they, he the said. initial defense was that he went seeking the Taliban to turn in his commander for now, bad. It tur- you know, it turns it turns out that there had been a number of media reports before he left this unit. On this particular unit, there had been a bunch of reporters there who had done stories and so forth and detailing some significant problems with the chain of command in this unit. That's what he's... we got music going. Uh, now, I'm not saying that that's true or false because I don't have any way of knowing that. But what I am saying to you is that we don't yet know for certain. Every what that's one of be. his teammates in his unit well. says they know. Every witness that was there says they know, unless, of course, like I said, you're going to allow the Taliban to come testify in his I'm behalf. I'm not talking about the Taliban. Well, Franklin, his initial defense was not that he was looking for another unit. They actually said, and this is so patently ridiculous, they actually said he went out seeking the Taliban to turn in his supervisor for <clears throat> not treating well, him well, right. Let me ask you something. Uh, would, would that be something like... In Vietnam, someone going out seeking the Vietnamese. Yes, that's no, what he called. No, I mean, no, that's no, called no, the no, enemy, is it that's not? not? That's not what he said he it did. It is what he said, He Franklin. said he was trying to go to another unit. That's not true, Franklin. That was not the first no. statement that came out. His defense <clears throat> actually said <clears throat> he was seeking. The, they actually said it. Now, the reason you don't want to admit it is because it is patently ridiculous. But they actually said he was seeking the Taliban because his commander had been doing illegal actions. Franklin, actually, do, what do he, you, actually, what he said was he was seeking to get to another unit because uh, he wanted to report problems okay. in his chain of command to some uh, objective source other than his. All right, Franklin. <clears throat> now, I don't let know me, if it's no, false, let me, but let me say this. this. Yeah, and you were in the military. I, I was in the military. Yeah. And there's plenty of ways to report problems in the military. Even if you're over there, you, you can write a letter to a congressman. You can get something to stir things up if things are not going right in the military. Uh, you can write a letter to a newspaper or something. You get it in the newspaper and see what happens in the military. They'll put a hush on it quick. Anyway, <clears throat> that is a bunch of bull. Uh, I think that uh, President Obama has got egg hanging off his body over this deal. I mean, he ain't got it on his face. It's hanging all off. It's hanging on his 
on his body from the way he uh, released five prisoners and uh, tried to make this guy well, out to be some kind of the, a hero. The, the, those are separate questions. Well, I'm just telling you the, and, and my I understand, opinion. I understand what you're saying, and, and that's, a, that's, a, that's a perfectly valid position to have. Okay. It's also perfectly valid to say that there's a process in the military for addressing these charges, and that process deserves to be followed. All right. And, 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 and as a, a U.S. serviceman, he's entitled to have that fair hearing and to present his side of it and let that jury decide that. Well, most of these cases are presented after about a one-month investigation. Well, there it's, aren't many desertion cases. It, well, in, in, Franklin, basically, you interview the, the rest of the unit, and this unit was almost, I think, unanimously united that he deserted. And that's really all you need to bring the charges. They took eight months to bring the charges. Now, a lot of people were afraid they weren't going to do it. They did do it, and now they have actually embarrassed the White House worse, and they're in a bind because now this trial is going to go forward, and it's going to be going all during the summer when the White House is trying to get this Iran deal worked out and basically they look like idiots well it it i mean it's a it it a crazy thing the way that uh, uh our president handled this and i've just got to say that it was improper the way he handled okay it. And, and 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 there there's a, there's a side of that that i think has some merit to that discussion mm -hmm. all right uh, next next hillary phone records what's the next topic on that what's the next what happens next? Uh, I guess, and I'm going to intervene before you two get started here. <clears throat> I guess from a re from the Republicans' point of view, uh, on the f uh, phone records, you're, you're, you're a Republican. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. I, I couldn't tell. Uh, they'll never be able to get the records because Hillary has done away with them. Now then, uh, there should be uh, charges brought up against her, and for that for what crime? Well, she got rid of evidence during an investigation. Did, which was what, what, what law did she violate? Was there an investigation going on? She actually wiped that server clean right, after. My, my, my question. She knew. She knew. She knew, is, she knew is, is that she law? had. She knew she had information on her server that might uh, uh, jeopardize. Well, for, first off, Franklin, we now have proof that she used multiple devices, even though in her statement she said, "I only I did this because I only wanted to use one device." Well, now we found out. <laughs> that she actually did use more than one device. First of all, I have said previously on here that I think the way she handled it was a mistake. All right, let me give you a broken However, law then. I don't know that she violated any Let me law. give you a broken law. Not on Hillary's part. I will say that. She's probably pretty slick about that. They've now reported slick Hillary. that her longtime aide, Sidney Blumenthal, was actually running a private intelligence network on the side while he was actually reporting to her what? and that he lobbied on the behalf of foreign governments while he wasn't uh, you, you can lobby, but you have to register as a lobbyist. He wasn't registered as a lobbyist. So we now have emails that he I'm sent sorry. lobbying for pro-Putin <laughs> forces in the Georgia dispute with Russia while she was Secretary of State and he was an unregistered lobbyist. So it, it won't be her. It'll be Blumenthal that's in trouble as, long, uh, as well as a lawyer, uh, let's see, Corn, uh, Cornbloom lawyer who was actually working for one of the allies of Putin. We now have proof that her people were actually lobbying her while she was Secretary of State illegally. Okay, if they did that, they should be held accountable. Well, we don't know because the emails were on the server that she refuses to turn <laughs> well, over. She corrupted our investigation. That's what she did. She and corrupted she our investigation. She only used one device. We now know that she used multiple devices. Now, that's not illegal, Franklin, but it certainly goes to the character of her explanation. Why, would, why wouldn't she pr provide the server? Why not turn it over? Yeah. I don't know the answer to that question. Right. Because there's stuff on it, she doesn't want anybody. In other to words, uh, it would make it would be worse than uh, as I've, than what's going on. And by as, the way, as I've indicated, I don't think it was a wise decision well, on her part. Again, I don't think it was illegal. One of the excuses was that the former secretaries didn't uh, disclose all of this. The difference is the formers didn't use private servers; they used the State Department servers. Well, actually, Condoleezza Rice didn't use email at all. Didn't know how or what? No, she made a policy. She wasn't going to use it so she could keep everything. Well, the, uh, <laughs> look, frankly. Out of the public eye. She was, all, was always deniability if you never do it. Well. <laughs>
Then then oh, Hil- Powell, then Hil- then Hillary's Colin Powell used a personal email address like a Yahoo. But account. it was through the State Department, so they had all of the storage. Well, no, but he deleted them all. Actually, they, it wasn't all stored. No, that's not accurate. No, Franklin, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He used this is a, this is an evolving area. He used area. it for a period of time while something was being repaired. That's the re, that's the reason I'm I'm saying to you. I don't think it was a good idea. There's think, no evidence you that think, I've seen that it was illegal. Well, you, you won't think she's see guilty any evidence because she won't turn over the server. You think she's guilty of anything? Do you think she knew there was stuff on there? I think she did it definitely for the. Pu- for the point of maintaining privacy over it. There's no doubt about that. I think it'd be stupid to suggest otherwise. What I'm saying to you is I don't see that there was any crime involved. Let in me that. ask you a question, Franklin. If she never turns over the server, will there ever be any evidence of a crime? Well, the That's official State trick, Department ones all go to somebody else in government. Unless they are all so using private servers, well, which that, this administration has been rife with. I don't know about that. Part. EPA, Sheila Jackson, you remember her? Uh, private servers. Private server or private email account? Private email Different account. Thing. Different Pri- thing. Franklin, the point is, if you don't know it exists, you don't know to ask for it. Folks, we're out of time. April Fool. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. You've been listening to Backfire with Steve Hickson, John Stanberry, and Franklin Chancey. Catch them again on Whoop FM at noon today and every Wednesday morning from 7.30 to 8.30. Now, back to more music on Whoop FM.